Welcome back everyone. Now let's take a look at number 16. Number 16, as you notice, has one line and then it continues and it ends over here. So this number 16 is going to go for quite a lot longer than other songs that we've played in the past. Another thing I want to show you too is, yes we are using both lines on our, you know, lines or both strings, right? Mm -hmm. B string and the mm -hmm. E string. But this is the first time where we are actually combining or using different um, note values in our music than what we've done before. In all of the other songs that we've played, we've either just only had, let's say, quarter notes, or only half notes, or only whole notes. Now we're starting to combine here quarter notes with half notes, half notes with quarter notes, Here's another couple quarter notes with half, quarter with half, quarter with half. So it is doing a lot different items here with the rhythms, all right? It is getting a little bit tricky, but don't get discouraged. In fact, let these discouraging thoughts or even these failures that you have, let them work for you. In other words, if you make a mistake, uh, uh, when you make a mistake, slow down. Oh, I forgot to put my first finger up here after the D. There we go. Okay. So if you make a mistake, learn from those mistakes. Analyze them. Find out, well, what should you have done? Well, I should have done this, and I should have put my F right there with my first finger. Oh, okay. Now you just learned something. Okay? So don't, don't get frustrated with your mistakes. Learn and, and grow with your mistakes. That's how we grow as human beings. All right? So let's get started with number 16. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> go. There is the song number 16. It is trickier. Whenever I have this in my guitar classes, my kids do kind of struggle with this one a little bit because it goes back and forth. However, there is a pattern to the fingering. 0, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 0. You see how it's kind of a pattern. It goes forward and then backwards. And you're going to see that as you go through. There is kind of a pattern going back and forth between 1 and 3 and 0 in this song. Once you get it, you're going to go, why was this ever hard? All right, keep working on this, and I'll see you in the next video.